Hey everybody, it's Brian here with the SoCo Customs YouTube channel. We've got a couple of tires here today and we want to demonstrate to you the difference between a symmetrical and an asymmetrical tire. Some of the pros and cons that we're going to be dealing with. So we've got the BF Goodrich Advantage TA and this is what's considered a symmetrical tire, meaning if you slice this right down the middle, it would be the same on both sides. Now we've got the Nitto 420S. I know that these tires aren't similar as far as what class they service, but uh, we're just doing this for example's sake. Um, if you did slice this tire right down the middle, you would notice that it is not symmetrical. So um, I'm going to have Josh explain to you a couple of the uh, pros and cons of these different kinds of tires and what these allow us to do. Hey guys, Josh with Soco here. So we're going to talk about, like Brian was saying, the BF Goodrich Advantage TA. This is a symmetrical tire. Like he said, mere tread on both sides and cut it right down the middle. What is the pros to a symmetrical tire? Symmetrical tires are, that way you have the performance, same performance on the inside and outside of the tread. You have the exact same tread uh, rubber compound across the whole tread face. So there's no difference in hardness or softness across the whole tread face. Another awesome thing about symmetrical tires is that you can rotate them, cross rotate them. They don't have to be dismounted. Normally, on all your passenger, lower passenger, non-high performance vehicles, a symmetrical tire is usually the way to go. And normally, you can usually get a lot more miles out of a symmetrical tire. All right, now we're going to cover asymmetrical tires. What that means is you cut it right down the center. The inside and outside of the tread pattern is totally different. And in some applications, what's really cool about an asymmetrical tire is the inside composition of the rubber is different than the outside composition. So I know all of us have had those cars where we drive them, we don't rotate them well, or we do rotate them well, and we still get that outer shoulder wear. And what an asymmetrical tire does is it tries to prevent that from happening. You must still have tire pre preventative maintenance with your rotates, your balances and alignment. So that won't, an asymmetrical tire won't just kick all of that off your list of things to do you still have to maintain your tires. Cool thing about an asymmetrical tire, like I was talking about, inside tread um, rubber compounds are usually a little bit softer than the outer uh, rubber compounds. So on a performance basis, what does that mean as far as performance? All the way across the tread, you're gonna have two things working towards the performance of your tire. Really cool design. In the higher end cars or higher performance, the higher H and V rated, Y rated, W rated tires, you see a lot of more options in the asymmetrical brand, branding or the asymmetrical tread, tread patterns. Um, this is the, NT, the Nitto NT420S. We're going to put a link up to our tire review on that, kind of introducing what this tire does and some of the benefits that the brand Nitto itself and all, of, all across their lines, what they bring and how they kind of differ, differentiate themselves between other brands. I did not cover in the asymmetrical part. These are able to be rotated and cross rotated. I did not put that in there, but I want to add that to um, on the asymmetrical side as well as the symmetrical side because you are mounting the inside and outside and they can be cross rotated. All your rotate preventative maintenance can still happen. So when we get into the other tire that I don't have an example for you for is directional tires. A lot like an as a, a symmetrical tire, but meaning the direction of the tire has to be mounted in a certain way. So there's left sides and right sides when you're mounting the directional tires and you cannot rotate those. All you can do is put fronts to backs and backs to fronts. You can't do the cross rotate that you want to see in like an SUV or an all wheel drive application. Thanks for tuning in guys. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. We appreciate you guys. Take care.